Well, we were uh, operating through the Evansville Amateur Radio Association to contact uh, astronauts, specifically one astronaut, the American one, luckily, on the uh, uh, International Space Station up in space. And we were asking him questions from many different grade levels, from many different students, and it was a really cool experience. It's hard to comprehend in a certain sense because you weren't seeing him, but you were talking to him, and you had to keep reminding yourself that uh, you were talking to someone who was out in space. and. Um, as someone who's always been really interested in space, it was a really awesome experience for me. I asked how his outlook on life changed by being in space. I had expected some deep philosophical answer, like how has your outlook on life changed? But actually he just said, the Earth is really small, and I didn't really think about that, but he, once he said it, it kind of took me aback, and I thought, wow, he's really right. The Earth is small in the grand scheme of things. I asked if um, what activities were difficult in microgravity that were simple in the Earth's gravity said that it was all difficult and that everything was really hard to do in space. Our primary school science teacher, Ms. Soy Powell, uh, is a big fan of NASA and she has helped us to do other things with NASA in the past. She got us onto the reduced gravity education flight program to ride on the Weightless Wonder and experience microgravity last summer. And then she heard about this ARIS project as an opportunity for us, um, for the whole school. And she put together a proposal and um, they were pretty pumped, though I don't think that really many of them understood exactly what was going to be happening. Um, because it was just kind of, it's a, it's a hard concept to understand. You're going to get to, on the radio, talk directly to an astronaut. Um, I don't know, it, it's just a weird kind of idea. Um, but they were super excited about getting to ask their questions. <laughs> Ham radio is just is, is something that I never really worked with. Um, but the guys from the Tri-State Amateur Radio Society were so excited when they, we, we asked them to be a part of this project. They just won us over with all their enthusiasm and uh, I'm really I'm really interested in learning more about amateur radio.